Hi there! This is Max and you are watching Assignment Experts channel. Today let's find the domain of this function. To find it we need to consider a system with three conditions. The first condition is domain of a tangent of x plus 1. The second condition is domain of x over cosine of x. And the last condition is tangent of x plus 1 is greater than 0. Now let's consider these conditions. The first one is domain of a tangent of x plus 1. To find this domain, we need to consider a system with two conditions. The first condition is domain of x plus 1. And the second condition is x plus 1 is not equal to pi over 2 plus pi n, where n is an integer. Let's explain this second condition. As we know, tangent of x equals sine of x over cosine of x. So this is a fraction. Therefore, cosine of x is not equal to 0. Therefore, x is not equal to this expression. And in our case, instead of x, we have x plus 1. Here's how we get this condition. The first condition gives us the whole set of real numbers, r. And here we subtract 1 from both parts of this inequality to get x is not equal to pi over 2 minus 1 plus pi n, where n is an integer. And this system gives us the result x is not equal to pi over 2 minus 1 plus pi n, where n is an integer. So we can clear the rest. Now the second condition. Domain of x over cosine of x. This is a fraction, therefore cosine of x is not equal to 0. Therefore x is not equal to this expression, as we already mentioned pi over 2 plus pi k, where k is an integer. And now the last condition. Tangent of x plus 1 is greater than 0. Here we need to graph the tangent function. Here we have y-axis, x-axis, 0 over here, negative pi over 2, pi over 2, pi, and 3 pi over 2. The tangent function looks like this. And then it repeats with the period pi m. As we can see from the graph, the function is greater than 0 for the interval from 0 to pi over 2. Therefore, we have x plus 1 is between 0 plus pi m, or just pi m, and pi over 2 plus pi m. where m is an integer. We can now clear the graph. Now let's subtract 1 from all the parts of this inequality. We get x is between pi m minus 1 and pi over 2 minus 1 plus pi m, 
where m is an integer. So now we have the following system. The first condition is x is not equal to pi over 2 minus 1 plus pi n. The second condition is x is not equal to pi over 2 plus pi k. Where and the last one is x is between pi m minus 1 and pi over 2 minus 1 plus pi m. Where n, k, and m are integers. Now let's have a closer look at all the conditions. As we can see, the first condition is included in the last one. So we can remove the first. And we can remove the letter N. And now we have only two conditions, and this is actually a domain of this function. This is the answer. Thanks for watching us guys and subscribe for updates. We have more stuff coming. Goodbye.